people snipe up by the shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff way up top, so it's really freaking cute. Um, definitely the hardest map, in my opinion. Um, deep freeze, you have to run up, and your team has to freeze the ice in the center, and then you drop down the lower part of the freezer. It's all ice pops and stuff, as you can see. I wish I could show each map, like, in-game, but if you want to see other videos of maps, I'm trying to upload them. Just videos of each map, me playing them. <coughs> um, you, you, yeah, you use your flamethrower, you go down below, after you freeze the first section, or you melt the first section, excuse me, I just got off work, eight hours, um, labor, sucks. But then you go down below, and then each team has a dinosaur that's frozen on each side, on the bottom of the freezer. And the first team to free their um, dinosaur, toy dinosaur, wins around. It dinosaur doesn't do much. I mean, it's animated, but it doesn't like unleash an attack, which would be cool. But they don't have that. Fish tank friends. He has a capture the flag. Linear map. Two sides. Two lanes. CTF pretty much. Kitchen run. You pretty much run across the countertop. You actually rappel down on a rope or a line at the beginning. It's freaking awesome. And you can run across the lit stove. It doesn't hurt you, from what I saw. And there's like a bubbly sink right there. The, the maps are awesome in this game. But your objective is to push your cup off the counter before the other team does. So yeah, the other team's cup is near your end of the counter and vice versa. <clears throat> it's awesome. Off the rails, this map is very linear. This and Bathtub Bash are probably my least favorites right now. Bathtub Bash I like a little bit more than this, but... On this map, you, you basically have to capture, it's capture point, but it's very linear, and the capture points are cookies, and they have flags on them. You capture them, yada yada, you get the point. Very linear. Operation Birthday, the one team spawns away from the cake, and they're the attack, the attackers, and they have to run up and boost up off the jello, and light the candles with their flamethrower, and then the second phase, you defend, and whichever team lights more candles wins. Tabletop Wars is a, is a team deathmatch. <clears throat> yeah, basically it's a tabletop that has like, you know, urban setting, all toys. <clears throat> and it's inside of a library. As, uh, you can see the books on the outside. And when you go into these maps, you can see like the outer environment is like an entire room. It's really cool. If you ever played Unreal Tournament back in the day, or like the, the kitchen maps on Counter-Strike when you're just like an inch tall guy. It feels like that, but you're legit a toy soldier in this. Toy Box Assault is King of the Hill. Right where you see those walls, the red, blue, and green walls up there, that's the King of the Hill spot. That's the capture point. You got to hold it for three minutes. Your time deducts when you hold the point longer than your other team, and that's how you win. I'm hoping to see more, um, more servers, obviously. Or uh, more maps, rather. There's tons of ideas I'm sure they have. <coughs> um, that would be pretty freaking cool. Uh, instead of making a game, I might just join an artwork shuffle one. Hopefully it's not halfway done or whatever. But, uh... Yeah, it's a really well done game for how cheap it is. Um, you start you have, you start out with all the weapons. You have a rifle, an assault rifle. Um... A sniper rifle, a shotgun, a rocket launcher, and a flamethrower. And before, you would only... You can see the servers are dead here, but there's actually quite a bit of people once you do this. Players. There you go, there's a couple hundred people on. Game has to grow, obviously. The community's not built fully yet. Um... What was I saying? Yeah. You regen only, your health only regen to 50, but now it goes all the way up to 100, which I like personally. <clears throat> Our table. Hopefully I'm, I don't get a laggy server. Not available. User created. Our table is a uh, free for all. I'm sure the rest are full, so that sucks. My buddy's coming back onto his computer. You'll hear him talk yo, in a second. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, man? What's up, man? Um, what are you doing, man? Uh, messing around on the mean greens. Our the table. mean greens? What the fuck is the mean greens? It's a uh, indie game. $15 indie game. Basically, you are a little toy soldier in like kitchens, bedrooms, tabletop, wars, and shit. <laughs> This reminded me of like the old Unreal tournament. 
when you were like an inch tall guy running around sniping people. Oh yeah, in the in the room. Yeah, but this is like legit. You see like toy cars. Like this map is called uh, artwork, uh, artwork shuffle or some bullshit. And there's just a bunch of like paintbrushes and shit you can climb around on. And it's, I don't know, it's fucking really cool. Really well done this. game. What did you buy? Activated carbon shit from my blackheads to see. Oh, I heard you guys talking about that. Did it work? I'll tell you in a little bit here. Hopefully I see some people here. You know, when there's 10 people, it's awesome. The rocket launcher is a bit overpowered, but they tried to make it so it didn't stay at, like when you died, the timer would stay the same, but they made the timer only 30 seconds, so they, they gotta really fix that. They really that shit the fuck on. Up I'm, sure and everything. Gonna, I'm sure it's gonna work like, pretty damn good. Jesus fuck! They put um, lots of it on! Yeah, when you get an active server, it's a lot better. This guy's horrible. Now it hardens. <clears throat> but, uh... There's... Oh yeah, if you press Alt, you can dodge. Like oh, this. that's crazy looking. And now you can jump when you're shooting. It takes your crosshair away. Before, they didn't have that, like, your gun would idle while you jumped. So now that's in the game. This was all. Oh, this game shit. was patched three times in the matter of a week. So they're pretty good with the patching. When the servers are full, obviously you get a lot more action. But Maya's is gonna scream when I do this. <laughs> I'm like a fucking porcupine. <laughs> it's like pull the blackheads completely out of your skin. Here's a sniper rifle. And you have unlimited ammo, but when yeah, you use up your ammo... I'm gonna go get this situated. If you wanna right. play that, I'll play with you. Yeah, I'll play that. Um, he's talking about Heroes of the Storm. I'll be playing that later, which I wanna make some videos on that, too. If I don't know if any of you guys are into MOBAs. I don't have many subscribers or anything, but, you know. Um, I'm just trying to explain the game here. I give the game a 9 out of 10. I wanna say 10 out of 10, but I mean, like... They have some work to do to it, I guess. Um... Like, when you hit somebody, I want to see, like, maybe fragments fall off the uh, soldiers, so you know you're hitting them. It's sort of just like a hit counter right now, and when you get hit, maybe, like, a red outline, like in Call of Duty. Yeah, I know, Call of Duty, fuck, it sucks, but something like you know you're getting hit, or like a grunt, like, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Um, yeah, there's really nothing like that, but other than that, it's, like, a really great game. Yeah, you dodge. What else can I explain? Your shotgun. The shotgun's really not too OP, but if you're close enough and you're on them, it's not like a huge spread, as you can see. If you're on them, they will go down, so that's nice. The flamethrower. Range is pretty gimped, but if they're close, they'll drop within like a split second. And when you rocket someone, they blow into pieces. And I guess they want to add to the game, when you flamethrower somebody, they melt into the ground. So that's going to be pretty freaking cute. <clears throat> But yeah, check out my other um, videos. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to get all the maps onto here so you can at least see them. <clears throat> and I have my graphics on medium. It looks all right. Some of the like graphic, like right here, it's blurry. I'm pretty sure it's not like that if you have it on high. So it's this doesn't look as good as it could be. <coughs> Excuse me. But you get the idea. It sucks. I got a dead server, but. At least you get to see what I'm explaining and whatnot. See, so too, you have to be like directly on them to get a one shot. The spread's really pretty good. <clears throat> um. There's no first person. That'd be cool. Um, I'd, it'd be cool if they added like. Maybe little toy vehicles you could drive? He's dead. That'd be nice. I'm pinging 17 to this dude, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, like vehicles, little toy tanks. Maybe some, like, name brand toy cars you could drive around, you know? These guys are probably new to the game. The game came out, like, literally a week or two ago. And it, I'm pretty sure it's an indie, indie developers. I'm not sure. Basement something. So I really don't think they really advertise it that much. I mean, it was on the front of Steam page for a bit. 
Um, okay. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, it has 600 some odd reviews, 80% plus are positive reviews. And, yeah, the environments alone, I mean, look, you can see the room, the out, the outer environment. How do I do it? It's pretty awesome. Uh, finally, another guy joined, but yeah. I know, how do I get the Check it out, buy it. Oh, never mind. I'm sure now they'll have I more sales. It. Maybe the winter sale will be, it'll go back down to 975, I think they said that.